let me explain few lines on birthday what is the birthday what is the meaning of birth something is invisible when invisible is manifesting on this planet earth that is called the birth we were present somewhere in the past invisible we came in this world on this planet now we are visible day means knowledge birthday means get the knowledge of incarnation where you were before invisible then you incarnated on this earth as a visible this knowledge you have to get it how to get this knowledge knowledge is associated with the object suppose this is the object and your existence is that object you want to know about yourself and try to feel yourself try to show infinite love for it what is the infinite love accept believe within head to toes you will find all things how can i believe let us see one seed one seed is getting transformed into big tree like banyan tree seed of banyan tree is like mustard seed is smaller than that and that seed is transformed into the banyan tree and see the root is very big down is spread downward and laterally both then big stem you know the how big stems are there then branches leaves flowers again fruits so many things try to hold any part of that banyan tree what you will see seed has become that seed has become a root seed has become trunk seed has become branches seed has become leaf seed has become flowers and fruits inside fruit seed is there seed has become those seeds if seed is able to manifest in the form of so many creations then this is the true then whatever you are had to choose your existence moment try to love it 100% i do not want anything because i have all things where is all things had to choose my own existence is presence of all in all and practice to experience it more and more in lying sitting standing working resting all phase one day you will realize yes it is correct had to do what is this it is manifesting in the form of galaxies it is manifesting in the form of solar system energy kingdom atomic kingdom plant kingdom animal kingdom exactly in the same way as seed is manifesting in the form of root stem branches leaves flowers fruits this realization that what you are you are present in the form of the whole creation moment to realize this then you will say yes 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 head to toes is infinite and truth is this each and every creation is infinite how can i see each and every creation is infinite take a branch of a tree you can do some discipline practice you can take a root you can take a small stem you can convert a small stem into big tree you can take one cell of a tree you can transform that cell into big tree you can take one cell of this body you can convert it into the whole body therefore remember each and every creation you may take an atom or a molecule or a a smallest structure of a plant or animal that represents all in all therefore importance of each and every existence is supreme and never think anybody is small never think anybody is weak never think anybody is less never compare who is big who is bigger who is the best never say like that from today onwards practice this head to toe what you feel you do not need anything because everything exists in your form try to pay attention on each and every part of head to toe and practice to love it more and more how to love it to feel and accept it more and more until you realize this truth that you exist in the form of whole cosmos now it is very clear 100% we were present in the past 
we are present to now and we will exist in the future i give this example in this ascending dwapar yuga lahri mahasaj yoga avatar samikti shri jnana avatar because the knowledge of yoga of lahri mahasaj is manifest in the form of his smallest text holy science and same holy science is spread in elaborate stage like the autobiography of yogi therefore these masters mahatar baba ji lahri mahasaj gyana tarikti shri parambhansh yogananda this is the sufficient to take a example if i take example of the ram and krishna and other prophet we do not know reality behind them when you know reality behind them what what they describe it is wrong ram never killed anyone ram was not involved in any war krishna never killed anyone krishna never arranged any fight and war but when try to read mahabharat or ramayan ram chaitmanas you will find like biggest war biggest world war it was not if what a message given about krishna bhagwan that one hunter killed him one hunter aimed and that weapon entered into the head and he died about ram he drowned himself in the river saryu he left body in that suicide condition this is not true therefore i request all of you never try to read those texts like ramayana mahabharat because you see their fight if you have real interpretation krishna taught only the science of yoga and he demonstrated biggest unity among two opposite egos kauravas and pandavas they become together and together they ascended into astral and causal world this is the correct if you understand this it is okay and ram did not kill ravan what ram did he taught each and every person that you have to practice this god has become all this was the detailed teaching i do not have time to read to explain ram gave this teaching never criticize anyone never think anyone is small but he said every creation is potentially vast and infinite god has become that this is the teaching given by ram but we have different interpretation in ramayana ram said manas therefore do not just engage yourself in reading the spiritual text religious text where fight is involved therefore i request all of you follow our biography of yogi in holy science and follow the practice what i am giving to you practice sincerely in this life dedicate yourself you will realize life is heaven life is bliss life is knowledge life has become this visual form what is this visual form knowledge has become this power has become this eternal peace and bliss is this just practice and you will feel it there is a 100% result of a healing a body sickness and illness if you follow exactly what i say exactly means whatever you understand follow and do not add your own thought and idea then you can demonstrate if you are 80 years old after 14 years practice you will look like 60 practice more and more sincerely you can renew your body this is for today i am very very much pleased to give this message you should have the knowledge of your incarnation on this earth knowledge has become your own existence Yeah, yeah.